One of the current crop of new young comedians breaks me up because he's got a hinge loose somewhere, which I think you have to have to be comic. You have to think funny and think ridiculous. Um, his name's Steve Martin, of course. He'll be appearing at the exit in Nashville, Tennessee, and on the 12th of this month, 12th and 13th of October, and at the cellar door in Washington, D.C., October the 16th through the 19th. Would you welcome, please, Steve Martin. Well, thank you very much. Got a lot of people here. How many people are here tonight? Just out of curiosity, raise them up. Okay. <laughs> Okay, well, we're gonna, how, one other question before we start. How many people do not enjoy raising their hand? This is just a curious thing for me. If you do not enjoy it. Okay, let's get going now. Oh, one thing before I start. I don't like to plug things on the show, but I recorded an album a couple of months ago, and two days from tonight, that will be this coming Thursday, we're going to erase it. So, <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's right. Professional comedian can't trust a thing I say. <laughs> oh, my shoelace is untied. <laughs> oh, I love playing jokes on myself. Right. Okay, let's get moving now. We're gonna we're gonna have some fun tonight, eh, folks? <laughs> oh, before I start, this is a dumb thing to talk about, but I gave my cat a bath the other day, and I'd always heard that you weren't supposed to give cats baths, you know? But my cat came home, and he's really dirty, and I decided to give him a bath, and it was great. If you have a cat, don't worry about it, they love it. He sat there, he enjoyed it, it was fun for me. Uh, the fur would stick to my tongue, but other than that, it was really great. So, all right, here we go. You have to forgive me, because um, whenever I tell that joke, I get kind of depressed. I, sh I shouldn't talk about this, but it was my old girlfriend's favorite joke. And, uh, you know, sometimes after this show, I'd come home. We were together about three years, and I'd come home and tell it to her, and she'd laugh. And I get kind of sentimental because she's not living anymore. And that's. <laughs> and I guess I kind of blame myself for her death. Um, I shot her. <laughs> okay, let's, let's get going. Here we are. It's a Tonight Show. You're expecting to see a professional show. That's what I'm here to do. Professional comedy. Let's get going with professional show business. Here we go. Hey, hey. <laughs> Isn't that a happy sound? When you're with me, it's like being at Shakey's Pizza all the time. You're like... <laughs> I think, I think people who are out of work, instead of giving them money, we should give them a banjo, because it's so happy. They can just go home and, did you get a job today, dear? Nope. <laughs> Doesn't matter, though. <laughs> Sing along, kids. I thought the banjo was the one thing that could have saved Nixon. You know, if he, if he went on television and went, ha, ah, everything's great. <laughs> I hate to talk about Nixon because I kind of feel sorry for him, you know. I, I have this image of him walking along the beach in San Clemente all by himself, you know, with a metal detector. You know. <laughs> <laughs> Found the quarter. <laughs> okay. Working with this curtain? I asked for a regular curtain. Could I get the... I'm sorry, I'm getting a little angry there. Uh, I asked for a different mic than this. Uh, I was having, I was working with a Sony 1200. I've got, can I get a close-up shot? I, I, hey, I'm sorry. I, I'm a little angry, I guess. I, I've kind of exploded. Oh, I've got, I'm, I'm really. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. Okay, let's get moving now. Thank you very much. We're having some fun now, folks. You know, um, <laughs> Oh, now I do a bit in my act where I make balloon animals and it's really funny and everybody laughs and, and I had a request to do it tonight and then I was gonna do it, but then I remembered I've done it on the show before, so I was a little confused. I hate to repeat material, yet, you know, I wanted to do the thing, so I've made a compromise. I'm going to make balloon animals, but I'm not going to blow them up. And I think this will be... <laughs> It's a, it's a puppy dog. Yeah. This is a cow playing a guitar. Okay. 
No, the, the re real thing I wanted to do tonight, I have a great joke. We can play on 100,000 people. Now, here's how it works. Right now, watching television, there's about 20 million people. And out of those 20 million, about a million of them are flipping around, trying to figure out what to watch and see who's on Carson tonight, you know. So what we do is, every 10 seconds, 50,000 new people tune in. And they don't know what's happening, they just tuned in. So what we'll do is we'll wait 10 seconds and I'll start being really weird. <laughs> and telling jokes that have no punchlines, you know? And you just laugh like crazy, like they're the funniest jokes you've ever heard. You know what I mean? More, this guy is great, he's killing him. And the people coming in will think they're wrong. It's like, he must be good, I don't know. Must be the new humor or something. So we'll wait 10 seconds, we'll go into it. Just about a standing ovation, that's all I'm looking for. We'll close with a big song, okay? We'll wait 10 seconds. I'll give you a cue like this and we'll go into our funny comedy joke. Won't that be fun? Okay. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, got a cute story for you. Wouldn't it be funny if you went home to repair your TV and there was a banana in it? <laughs> I do. Yeah, beautiful. Got another story for you. <laughs> hey, what a great crowd. <laughs> Fella comes home, opens his refrigerator. There's a clown in his refrigerator. <laughs> well, oh, no, no. he looks at the clown, the clown looks at him, the fella says, I didn't expect to see you in there. <laughs> Hey, you are really fast. Not many people get that one. That's beautiful. Okay, I'd like to close with a little dance, and here we go. The hills are alive with the sound of music. Hey, thank you. Well, I know what you're gonna say. Right, sir. Steve, how can you be so funny? That's right. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> I like to explain something. See, yeah. when I go out on stage, I feel funny. You know, my whole body feels funny. And you have to get primed for it? Yeah, I put a slice of bologna in each one of my shoes. Go right. <laughs> makes me feel funny. Pickles work, pickles work for me, but bologna is pickles ridiculous, up? yeah. Okay. How you been? You're writing shows now, aren't you? From oh, I'm show. just kind of uh, dabbling. I used to write comedy for television all the yeah. time, like Sonny and Cher. And Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour. A lot of cool things like that, but now I'm just... Uh, <laughs> I, I, uh, some friends of mine were producing the Dick Van Dyke special and uh, got, got involved in that and it really turned out well. We have the script done and it's really, yeah. in my opinion, exceptional. You're not going to give up performing, are you? Oh, no, 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 no. This is strictly a little side thing I'm into if you're into what I'm doing and I'm not trying to be pompous or anything like that. <laughs> no, uh, <laughs> oh, I'm working on the uh, John Denver special, oh, really? writing and performing on that. And, Oh, you know you're talking earlier about uh, ways to avoid crime. Do you have to yeah. cut away the commercial? Oh, it's okay. In a second or so, yeah. You want to do it now? Then can we follow up on this when we come sure. back? Sure. Hey, what the heck? Hey. <laughs> you got nothing planned, have you? Yeah, no, yeah no, sure. No. We're coming right back, and we'll find out what you're talking about. Okay, great. <laughs>
You busy? No, I'm having my lunch break. Well, what about it? Hey, cauliflower, must be Thursday. It's potatoes in his pipe. This way. Carl, is uh, Stephen still here? Yes, Mr. Cage, he is. We'd like his table, please. As you wish, sir. Hey, uh, Naomi, uh, my bills add up last night. It didn't work last night. It didn't work last No, have you seen my tie? Thank you, Carl. But why? Please tell me, are we here? I mean, what is so special about this place? We're in for an unforgettable experience. This is the most absent-minded waiter I have ever seen. Steve, table 19, party of two, right away, please. Maintenant, table 19, all right, table 19. Expensive restaurant. Pay a lot of money to come in here. They're expecting a professional waiter, so here we go. Professional food service. Water. <gasps> and glasses. Good evening and welcome. Mal, would you like to see a menu? Uh, yes, we would, please. Ah, but first I'll take your order. Save a little time on that. Excuse me. Yeah. Ah. Now, what would you like? Uh, I'll just have the New York steak medium uh, with a small spinach salad. Very good. And for Madam? Uh, well, uh, I'll have some uh, rare roast beef and uh, avocado vinaigrette. Please. Excellent. Now, what would you like? New York steak medium and a small spinach salad. That's a popular dish. Another fellow just ordered that. Now, would you like something to drink? I'll have a martini. We'll have two martinis. Two martinis. Now, would either of you like anything to drink? We'll have two martinis. Two martinis. Excellent. Now, would either of you like anything to drink? Uh, yes, we'll each have a martini. Ah, two martinis. Good. I'll be back in just a moment. Ah. Oh, excuse me. Be back with your appetizers in just we a moment. We didn't order appetizers. Would you please tell me what's going on here? George Manos brought me in here a couple of weeks ago. It was incredible. Uh. All right. Here's your drink order. One, two, three, four, five, six martinis. And your lard omelet. A lard omelet? I didn't want a lard omelet. Well, you better make up your mind. Ah. Huh. Allow me. Amazing, isn't it? Yes, it's amazing. It's not very amusing. Ah, what a meal, huh? Save room for a little dessert? How about some nice Dutch sugar jelly cake? It's good for you. Uh, excuse me, but we haven't gotten our entrees yet. Excuse me, but we haven't even gotten our entrees yet. Oh, sorry, I just went to the Bahamas for a moment. What? No entrees? The chef must have forgot. This guy crazy or what? Trust me. <laughs> Trust you. Trust me. Ah, here we are. <clears throat> Stack of lips. Curly maple surprise. Here's your cold lard omelet. And your hamburger. Hold the onions. Well, 
I just don't believe you're doing this to me. I mean, I hire a babysitter, I get my hair fixed, I drive all the way into town to meet you, I risk death in God knows what kind of a sinister parking lot, and for this, we don't really go out that often. And I'm not going to forget this travesty very soon, you remember, Sam? And here's your change. 1950, 20, 30, 40, 60, 80, 100... 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000 dollars. Thank you and come again. <laughs> ah, two for dinner? Uh, yes, two please. Certainly, sit right down. <clears throat> I'll have this mess cleaned off for you in a moment. Pigs must have been here. <laughs> 